Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is 5G technology. We are going to discuss what is 5G technology, then what are its benefits, what are its applications, then whether India is ready for 5G technology, then what are the challenges or whether we are in a hurry or not, what we need to do, what is the way forward and how to conclude a question on 5G technology. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, let us see the definition of 5G technology. The definition says it is the next generation cellular technology that will provide faster. First point, it will provide faster and more reliable. More reliable means with less disconnections. Okay, communication with ultra low latency. So these are the three important points. It will provide faster communication. It will provide more reliable communication and it will have low latency. Okay. So this is a definition of 5G technology. Now let us see the telecom sector. Why it is of very much importance to us. Why? Because we have a very large market, world's largest market in India, 1.20 billion subscriber base and india is the only second country in the world to reach 1 billion telephone subscriber so we have a huge market so a huge potential for 5g technology okay now let us see uh, what are the advantages of 5g technology it will provide the download speed 100 times than existing 4g technology it will increase the energy efficiency and it will offer more stable network connectivity it will have wider frequency spectrum which will lead to less network congestion okay and uh, so these are the advantages of 5g so what are the applications of 5g 5g sits at the center of industry fourth industrial revolution then internet of things smart cities self-driven cars hai na? So these are the uh, applications of 5g technology and numerous applications are there of 5g technology the Interministerial High Level Forum for 5G India 2020, which was formed in 2017, says that India is 5G ready. Okay. But let us see why should India not hurry roll out of 5G technology? Why we should not uh, roll out it in a hurry, in a haste manner? First thing is 5G is a critical infrastructure. So if we uh, roll out it uh, so fast, then we are vulnerable to cyber attacks. Also, the Huawei company, which has the maximum patent in 5G technology, is the Chinese company. It's a Chinese company. And as per a Chinese national intelligence law, there is a Chinese national intelligence law. As per it, all the citizens and the companies in China, they are bound to share information with the country. In the interest of the nation so we are bound to be vulnerable if we are going to roll out uh, all our uh, 5g spectrums to one company which is a chinese company and which is the company of a nation we are not at good relations with okay also considering we need a lot of huge huge investment we need in 5g technology and if we see the current financial health of telecom sector it's very poor we are bleeding the financial sectors uh, the telecom sector is bleeding we could see the supreme court judgment the agr issue already it's impending for them so so it's very difficult for them to invest in 5g technology considering the current situation also the 5g devices will cost more than the 4g devices Okay, and also the enabling infrastructure we do not have. So it needs a lot of investment. We have uh, security issues are there, then we have financial issues are there, the spectrum issues are there, and there are a lot more issues. Okay, so what we need to do for this, first we can do is indigenization. We can promote our own 5Gs. So we can promote 5G startups. We can promote 5G startups. We can promote IPR in India. Okay. Then, because the current situation, the current financial health of the telecom sector is poor. So, our companies cannot capture the domestic market as well as the international market. So, we need to support our telecom sector. So, we need to support our telecom sector. Also, we can have government and business. 
बिकॉज एज वी नो वेन एवर नेशनल सिक्योरिटी कम्स इन पिक्चर इट इज़ द मोनापोली ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो वी हैव सम डिफेंट बी एस एन एल एम टी एन एल वी कैन रीस्ट्रक्चर दैम इन टू समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके देन वी कैन डू दी ऑडिट ऑफ दी स्पेक्ट्रम्स we have to do lot of fiberization is required for and also we need a lot of investment we need 5g needs to be financially viable because if it is not financially viable then we'll never be able to integrate it with the rural system and we need it if you are not able to get take 5g to rural setup then it's of no use so first we need we need to make it financially viable also we need not rush with it we, there is no need to rush with it because right now the the system of india is not capable to handle self driven cars iot these are distant dreams so we, we there is nothing to rush about it we can take calculated decisions so this these could be the way forwards and um, in the conclusion we can say that 5g will act as a catalyst for digital india a watershed moment in digital transformation so this is all about 5g technology